My name is Brian Thistleton. I'm an entomologist working with the NT government on agricultural and horticultural pests. Today I want to talk to you about two important sap-sucking insects which attack mangoes. These are quite distinct in appearance and the damage that they cause. Mango leafhopper has adults which look like tiny cicadas and while present most of the year it, it is most damaging at flowering when it breeds up by laying eggs in the flowers and sucking the sap. The mango leafhopper is a pest of mangoes in the Northern Territory where it occurs as far south as Catherine. Leafhoppers are sap suckers. Feeding and egg laying causes curling and distortion of new flush and damage to flowers. Leafhoppers excrete a sticky liquid known as honeydew which promotes the growth of black sooty mould. When left untreated, which is often the case in home gardens or abandoned orchards, numbers of leafhoppers build up rapidly to the extent where leaves and flowers are damaged and there is no fruit production. Mango leafhoppers breed all year round but produce more eggs during the flowering and fruiting period. Eggs are inserted into the midrib of the new leaves and into flower panicles. The eggs hatch in two to three days and the development period from nymphs to adult is 12 to 20 days. Mango leafhopper populations generally increase from March onwards and this is the crucial time for growers to commence regular monitoring. Since mango leafhoppers populations are able to board up very rapidly, they should be treated as soon as they are detected. Regular monitoring will enable growers to detect early infestations and treat the affected trees rather than having to treat the whole orchard after they have spread. The mango plant hopper or flatted is triangular in shape, has green or greenish white wings which are held in a tent over the body and it sucks the sap from the shoots and the developing fruit. The mango plant hopper as well as other plant hoppers, are often referred to as flatids and are pests of mangoes and other tree crops. Adults and nymphs suck sap from shoots, flowers and fruit. Plant hoppers are often seen on the fruit stalk or leaves and their feeding on the fruit stalk may cause sap to flow onto the fruit. Plant hoppers excrete honeydew and an infestation will generally be indicated by the presence of sooty mould which grows on the honeydew. The presence of sooty mould may also be due to an infestation of mango leafhopper or other sap feeding insects. The eggs are produced in a dish shaped raft which is about five millimeters in diameter and attached to leaves. The nymphs are either pale green to white or yellow green with one or two clumps of feathery white filaments at the end of the abdomen. The nymphs do not have wings and are usually seen clustered around the egg mass when newly emerged. Regular insect monitoring is important in the detection of this pest and treatment should be carried out before the pest reaches damaging levels and while the insect is still in the nymph stage. Trying to control the pest when it reaches the adult stage is often not so successful. 